Good morning. Had a really rainy night last night. I've got an overcast day today. But uh, I'm glad to be home from Buriram, that's for sure. Two nights drinking with my brother. I'm getting too old for this rubbish. But anyway, while I was in Buriram, I got a screw in my tyre. I came out the hotel room in the morning and noticed that you know, it's gone down a bit. So, I went to uh, a Be Quick Centre, which is on the side of Robinson's Mall in Buriram. And I thought, well, while I'm there, you know, they, they can fix my tyre and we, we can walk around the mall and do whatever we want to do. So I was probably there for about an hour. And then I went back to the Be Quick Centre. And they'd not really done anything except the wheel was on the ground. And then they said, oh, look at your tyre. So that was on the inside of the wheel. So it's a bit fortunate, really, that they took it off. And then I thought, well, while I'm there, I says, how much are your new tyres anyway? And uh, they had some Michelins in there for over 7,000 baht each. And then they said, we have promotion, we have promotion. And I said, oh, on what? And they said, these tyres here, what I've got fitted now, called Thunderer. Thunder Ranger 007 and they should have been 4,700 baht each anyway I had a little look online with my tablet and uh, they got quite a good rating it's an American tyre and he says oh they're made in Korea and I went well you know so are Kia and Hyundai and they make decent cars so he brings the tyre out for me to have a look at and then it's got a made in Thailand sticker on it go figure <laughs> anyway I bit the bullet and I had four put on. So, it, like I say, they were 4,700 and they come down to just over 3,500 each. That's, I like a bargain. <coughs> and while I was there, I got new wiper blades fitted as well. No more squeaking. I put them on, which is pretty good. So that was that. We went to the Honda dealer, as you can see. There's no number plate on this motorbike. And they says, oh, when the number plate comes in and the Porra Ball, which is a, a form of vehicle tax, and you get minimum insurance cover with it as well, which is pretty good. Good idea. Anyway, went in the shop. Lo and behold, there it was, the number plate, the, the log book. And, my girl, and they said to my girlfriend, well, we've been trying to call you since Songkran. Absolute rubbish, because we've been in twice asking about this. So there's Thai customer service for you again. A couple of videos back I mentioned about my water being corrosive from the borehole. So I, I've just, like I said, I've dug this tra traveller palm out and uh, I thought well I may as well remove my uh, pump. So <coughs> look at that. It was on the verge of going anyway. I ain't got the pump out yet, I need, I need help to lift it out, it's quite heavy. But at least it is loose. Whoa, come on! Told you it's heavy. Oh. There you go, live TV for you. <laughs> yeah. See, heavy. <laughs> well, I should be able to get it out. Anyway, like I say, I'm glad to be home. Back with my animals. Back in the countryside, quiet life. It's where I belong. <laughs> As you can see, since they did the road widening, I have a bit of a flooding issue outside my house and I have dug twice now down to drain this down into the uh, paddy field across so I need to do it again but rain's good if it don't rain all day I'll come with wind wind and lightning they're the two things I don't like about Thailand 
because they are very scary or can be I've got some new additions to my uh, to my animals I managed to find two female turkeys look at these two <laughs> they're showing off so I've got me two males now two females, three females sorry I don't normally let the goats out and be free because they used to eat my trees but uh, they're quite happy with this what, what um, a mum got from yesterday what else did I have? oh yeah I went to buy uh, an air pump because I've had a couple of goldfish die on me for no well, no reason that I know about So while I was there in the market, buying the uh, air pump, in a cage were these two little beauties. <laughs> I couldn't resist buying them. Nice to have around. We've got a male and a female by the looks of it. So uh, I'll have loads of little critters running around hopefully. <laughs> Still got five, look. <laughs> Need to get him some hens. Oh yeah managed to get this much done anyway before I went to Buriram and uh, make the rooms still got steel enough steel to do the, the framework and I've met, I, I managed to get three door frames made but I ran out of angle line for them so I'm gonna have to buy some more so I can brace, brace the doors up make them stronger I have to close that door otherwise the goats will be in the, the feed bins. <laughs> What's up, me? They just eat and eat and eat and eat. It's amazing. Guys can go pick up his sound of his munching away, it's funny. should have had this camera before when I first brought the two female goats home. He was going absolutely crazy, the book. <laughs> Say, I, I do mix fully with the Thai community, the village that I'm, I'm living in. Um, it's a bit quiet at the moment with regarding festivals and parties but uh, I go to most of them weddings, funerals um, young monks going to the temple whatever's going on New Year we got the our sort of Western New Year January the 1st celebrate that here in Thailand and they also celebrate their own which is the Songkran festival um, all good fun they are amazing party party animals they are really for small people they can have knocked the ale down I tell you that much <laughs> are you scared of a few chickens what's up with you so I, in the future you know I, I want to get more videos with the Thai people involved um,
this sort of tree, Ty's call it a pack of shit. Everywhere I go, it grows like crazy all over the place. But for some reason around my village, it's hard to find. So I have to actually go out my way to find it. But uh, the young seed pods and the and the young leaves, quite nice. Put them, you know, salads or stir fries or whatever. Tastes good. Now, yeah, I say I don't know anybody here if you know Burry Ram. First night out, it was completely dead. Saturday night, the Bamboo Bar, which is the longest established uh, farang. Oh. <laughs> Hello! The longest established foreigner bar in Buriram. <coughs> the, the service by the staff has gone, I mean I've been going to that place for over, well for, for five years now. Uh, the, the service levels were pretty poor, there's no one there. The food prices have shot up, so I don't think I'll be going there again. The second night, we, we managed to find, just near the hotel where I was staying, in the, near the train station, called the Thai Hotel. There's a bar just around the corner from there. Live, live music bar, playing music I like from good Thai artists like Carabao and Pongsi Kampi. And uh, I had a great night out there, it was really good. And the food in there was good and cheap, 80 baht for, you know, a meal that'll fill you. Up. Whereas I, I, I think I, well, there, there was stuff over 350 baht in the bamboo bar. I was like, what? And uh, I ended up with a with a burger, which wasn't too bad, for 220 baht. <laughs> Not bother taking these out anywhere today. I think we've got enough food here. We'll be happy with. I'll go out and get some steel, some more steel and finish those uh, doors. <laughs>